Welcome to Voice Bootcamp. The dial plan consideration part of the lecture on DVD, CCI Voice lecture on DVD will focus on the call routing and class of service section of the CCI Voice. Now the dial plan, which is basically an IP routing of IP telephony, it consists of two basic call type, an on net calls and an off net calls. The on net calls are calls that are destined for number that are registered to call manager itself, for example, the extensions or CTI route points or voicemail ports. These are called on net. Then you have off net calls. Whenever you want to make a call to a PSTN number or a, a branch office or a number somewhere else where the call has to go over the WAN, well, that is called off net, where you may need to, uh, where the, the remote system may not be under your control. Now, the call manager logic, the call routing logic, is that when you have multiple pattern match, the more specific pattern will be the first cho will be the first choice. For example, I have a route pattern six x x x right here, with on uh, followed by another route pattern six two x x. Now, each one of these route pattern pointing to different gateways. So one could be IP, one could be PSTN. Doesn't matter. Now, if the user dials 6200, what will happen is it will have a two potential match. So at this stage, the system will look at the two pattern and will wait to see if the user, uh, how many digit user enter. Now, when the user enter four digit, the system realize that it has two pattern. But the fact that the second pattern is more specific, it will choose the second pattern unless the user is preventing from selecting the second pattern due to partition and calling source space issue. Now, if the user dial the next number, 6234, which happens to match an extension of a sign to a phone, it will always ring that extension because the directory number or special route pattern that has the highest priority of match. So this is very important because directory numbers are more specific match because they're the exact value. Now, in order to define an external route to be able to send calls to PSTN, you have to kind of uh, configure a series of uh, elements in this case. So here, for example, they will start with deploying gateways first. In previous chapter, we talked about gatekeepers. We talked about T1 and HTTP 3 and MGCP gateway. So because we will be using any one of the, any, any any one of those type of gateways to route calls to PSTN, this is very important that we define those gateways first. Once we have defined the gateways, the next job is to organize them in a route group manner. Now, the route group basically chooses the right gateway. Now, a route group should only contain gateway from a specific city, for example. Uh, let's say you have a gateway in Toronto, you have a gateway in New York, and another gateway in, uh, let's say, 